Good morning. I'm David Guthrie with His Word Lives Ministry, and I want to welcome you to our Bible time and prayer time today. We're going to be talking about Thanksgiving since it's the Thanksgiving season, and we're going to be looking in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 4 through 7 this morning. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. As we come upon and are apart and into this Thanksgiving season, I wanted to read this scripture about rejoicing in the Lord always. And even again, the Holy Scriptures say rejoice because there's something to be joyful about in our lives in that we have a Savior, Jesus Christ, that for has forgiven us for all of our sins of the world our past sins, our, pre our sins we may even do today, and any future sins, God Almighty has a relationship with us because of Jesus paying the sacrifice for our sins on the cross, and that we have life eternal forever and ever and ever, eternal life with God. And that's something to rejoice about. And it says, let your moderation be known unto all men. Let God show out through you, through a, a gracious personality, a reasonable disposition of you towards all men. The Lord is at hand. Let God show out th through you. Be confident that the Lord is in your life forever and ever. He's close to you even now. And the Lord is at hand in that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, may come back at any time for his people, the believers in him, the church. The Lord is at hand. And then it says, and this is the scripture that had thanksgiving in it, be careful for nothing. Don't be worrying about a bunch of different things. Give that worry to Jesus. But in everything, pass your worries and your cares on to Jesus in prayer and tell him about your situations and your needs in life. <clears throat> and have thanksgiving in your heart because Jesus cares and loves about each and every one of us. In everything that we take to him in prayer, let's make that be known to God and have thanksgiving in our heart that we have a God that is love, is of love, and enables us to know God's love inside of us. What a, what a thanksgiving that we should have inside of us and do have. And then in the last scripture, verse 7, it says, And the peace of God, the peace, the, the serenity, the calmness, the blessed assurance of knowing where we're going, who we are in Christ, his little children, a peace with God. It passes all understanding. You know, I can do things because God, through the Holy Spirit, lives inside of me that I couldn't do before I was saved, that I couldn't do before I got in a right fellowship with God and started following Jesus in my life. This knowledge passes all understanding and gives me the ability to have a Christian character and a personality and to offer forgiveness to those that offend me 
and to talk, not take offense in certain situations and to love people, even the ones that don't love me. It's a love that passes all understanding and a peace that comes with God through knowing Him and His Son, Jesus Christ. And she'll keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. God is going to keep our hearts at peace and our minds calm and settled and sober or clear in our thought about the important things in our lives. And we're to go out and share this with other people that other people might experience the gospel of Jesus Christ in their hearts and be saved and have this same life in their lives. Our first prayer request this morning is I just want to praise God and give him a thanksgiving for all he's done for the saints in Christ. I'd also like to ask prayer for Tim Freeman, who's recovering from a transplant surgery. Alex Zazi asked prayer, and he wishes the Lord's blessings and good favor upon the people of this ministry. He's praying for others. Bless your heart, Alexander. Kenneth Stevens asked prayer for his wife's health and that it gets better. And Kenneth's been praying for his wife. Pray with me for Kenneth's wife this morning to Jesus. Karen Dublin asked prayer for her family. They're in need of a breakthrough in many areas. And let's lift up Karen and her family to the Lord for a breakthrough. Vicki Patania asked prayer for herself. And let's lift up Vicki to the Lord this morning and pray for her and her family. Pastor Simeon Nixon asked prayer for his ministry and a financial breakthrough. Brother Eugene Carrier asked prayer for himself, and he's working a lot of hard hours and is stressed out over it. And he prays that he could get some Sundays off and be able to relax and get more sleep at night and less stress. And let's lift up Brother Eugene to the Lord and pray for him this morning with me. Barry Walraven asked prayer for himself and his family. And he also asked prayer for three friends of his that have cancer. Otto Walraven, Monty Clark, and Billy Horner. He asked prayer for them in their battle with cancer. And let's just pray that Jesus helps these men and gives them strength and endurance to battle this cancer disease. Victoria Bristol asks prayer for herself and Muhammad, and she praises God and asks for peace and love inside of their family. Let's just lift up Victoria's prayer request this morning. And then I'd also like to pray again as we pray this week for Tammy Meads, youngest son's marriage. I'd like to pray for Jack Yates' wife Sue and her back pain and issues with her back. I'd like to pray for my wife Jackie Guthrie and her back issues. I'd like to pray for Deborah Scott and her friend Adele that needs guidance. I'd like to pray for Lady Luna. I'd like to pray for her and her health situation. Jody Roden asked prayer for her sister Tammy Roden that's sick and has health problems. Hector Hernandez asked prayer for Israel Perez that's also battling cancer. And King asked prayer for James Thomas. I'd like for you to lift up your prayer request to Jesus this morning and tell him what's on your heart, what is your needs and praise him that you can be thankful and have thanksgiving in your heart that you can go to Jesus with all of these. Dear Jesus, we come to you in prayer this morning, God, and we just thank you, Lord, for all you do for us. And we lift up all these prayer requests to you, Jesus, 
and just ask you to be with each and every one and have your will and way and healing and delivering and love and strength and peace in these situations. Lord, we thank you for who you are and we just extend out a warm thanksgiving to you, God, and praise for loving us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. And remember to watch our preaching videos, our Bible teaching, and prayer ministry. And if you have a prayer request, send it in to us. God bless you and have a wonderful day.